hello guys welcome to this tutorial so in today's tutorial we shall be doing a social media flyer design yeah, so looking at this design there are some few things we'll be doing here if you look at that image you see that the color of that image blends with the background so we shall be doing this technique where the image blends with the background color and the app we shall be using here is this app So if you don't have this app you can download from play store adobe lightroom so right away let's go to our pixel app so the first we want to do here is to set up our image size so we shall be using a width of 1000 okay the next thing we will create our background here again we shall be using a gradient color for the background um and it shall be red so for this we choose a red color and for this we choose a lighter red color and now we choose the one at the center okay so i think this is all let me shift this up a bit okay yeah we shall go with this so i shall be importing the image now Remember, we are doing a welcome to December flyer. Yeah, you can still get this image on Pinterest. Just go there and type um, Christmas portrait. I'm sure you have this. Okay. Make sure it's at the center. So if you look at the edge, it's too sharp right i want to blend that with the background so i'll go to shape i go to gradient i take this make sure uh, by now you know how to create a gradient shape right so that shouldn't be a problem for you so bring this a little bit closer okay so i'll choose a red color in order to blend with that background let me see if i can pick okay so picking this lower color, this one. So I just place that one there. Okay. So the next thing now, let me put in my text December. um the font type i'll be using here let me see um i'll be using Montserrat extra bold italics this one it is a little bit slant so enlarge a bit and the gap between the letters is too much i want to reduce the gap so i'll go to my spacing tool and I'll reduce the spacing okay so I'll take this behind Misland this a bit. So right now, if you look at the edge of that C, this area, let me show you. Look at this area. You see that there is a cut there, right? Even here on this day, there's a cut there, so I want to fill in that space. So I'll click on the text, I go to padding where you are the padding tool. This is it here. I increase the left padding, also increase the right padding. Okay, so we have solved that problem. Now make sure this is centralized. So I'll copy this and I write M. Okay, let me capitalize this. So, still send this one behind. Okay, 
Okay, let me bring this one down. So I'll copy this and I complete the spelling. Okay, so for this one now, let me see, let me reduce the spelling of this. Let me put it at 150. 150 is too small. Let me leave it at that number. Now put this one here. They are sending behind. Okay, let me see. okay it's okay this way now for this guy i want to put a shadow behind so i'll click on shadow i'll put i'll reduce the opacity of this shadow then i'll take it upward okay so let's go this way So let me put up here, welcome to. The font I'll be using here is this font. Autograph. Yeah, that's the name of the font, Autograph. Okay. Okay, let me just put a wish here. Let me just pause and write out the wish to save time. So this is our write-up. Right now, um, I'll reduce the size. I'll go to this align to I click the one in the middle. Try to align this way. Yeah, and then I'll come here and spare out submit. Change the color to red, light red. This one. And the font I'll be using here is autograph. Place this at the center. I'll send it behind this other one. Okay. So um, it's too clean. It's too bold. Let me reduce the opacity. Let me leave it at fifteen. Okay. Now write the date, which is first December. Okay, so the font here, it was the font here. Let me use this font. So, um, yeah, we reduce to 10 or rather 15, and I increase the spacing. Place this at the center. okay so right now we'll go and import and put another element yeah so this is what i'll be putting yeah i will show you how i'll do a video on how to blur images 
how to blur images so you see that the edge the edge is too sharp now we'll go to my erase tool and increase this one this way is to enable it after erasing a particular portion enable that portion now to blend with the background now this is the erase tool proper so now just erase this edge erase this other edge erase the lower part erase the upper part okay so minimize this and place here so I'll copy this in match and I place here okay so I think that's all just go ahead and save now make sure you always save at ultra click on the save button so right away we shall be going out to adobe lightroom to edit the design so I'll click on adobe lightroom so right away we shall locate the file where the flyer is the folder where the flyer is so i'll click here on this blue button having the picture icon so i will navigate to the pixel app folder let me just come here okay locate where the pixel app folder is yeah, so this is a design I'll just click here and add i'll come to all photos i'll click on all photos just wait for a while for it to be added okay this is it so I'll click on it just want to follow keenly here now I'll come to the light um sorry i'll come to the light tool i'll click on this light tool the contrast increase it a bit um the highlights i'll also increase it a bit i'll come now to color to affect the texture before i come here let me go first to color if you look up what you see b and white b and w which is black and white okay so i'll go to i've already edited this area so after b and w is grading yeah so you click on grading you see this color wheel now this color will enable you to blend the image color to the background so i'll choose red i want to blend that image color to the background i come to luminous i increase luminous go to blending increase blending come to balance reduce balance so I'll click on done I will now come to effects the texture will increase the texture the clarity i will increase the, the clarity then it dehes now increase the dehes so it's coming out bit by bit i come now to sharpening so all of this i'll just fill them to their maximum value Okay, so what we have done we have just recreated that design so i will go ahead now click on this share icon here and i save 